Good evening everyone. Today I want to talk about my favorite tutorial, how to create underwater skin. First of all, let's create a background of water and this is a gradient. It goes from lighter pro to darker blue. So what we must do over the toolbar and make custom color for the foreground and background. So now click on the foreground color, make the lighter blue like this this is suitable for the foreground color Go over the toolbar click on background color here that print color picker now make nice dark and blue like this Okay, here we go. This is the result what we are looking for. Now, in default setting, the gradient should be from the forward color to background color as it's shown here. But if it's not, click on the gradient and be sure that the first preset is selected. Click on OK. Now, a little bit past the white area here, hold down the shift key, click and drag to be sure that you make straight line then click there we are that's exactly what we are looking for now let's go to the layer palette and apply a new layer that's gonna be to apply the clouds filter to be in the top of our water skin so go to the toolbar and select the rectangular selection tool draw a rectangle almost the same shape in the in our image like this and we're gonna make render some clouds inside this selection to make the top of water so first of all reset the color by press dx like this dx to make it from white to color to black Go to filter menu, render clouds, like this, here we are. Now we have to free transform the clouds. Go to edit, free transform, coming up here and fill the entire image completely just like this press enter to apply now what we're gonna do to apply another filter over the clouds this is gonna be the plastic wrap filters go right here to filter artistic plastic wrap you'll find it here choose that one plastic wrap here we are in plastic wrap filter what I'm gonna do to change a little bit the details here to make it more realistic make it like this detail make it smoother a little bit smoothness I'll make it in the 11 like this now click on OK and here we have it what we have to do is to transform the clouds filter to make it look like the water in the top so to do this go to edit transform select distort to is to push this up like this stretch the corner squeeze the squeeze the bottom like this here we are 
Now to blend the cloud here with the background to get nice color water effect all we can do is go to change the normal mode option to linear dodge like this here we are now decrease the fill because it's a little bit light make it around 75 it's not bad this is okay let's create a mask layer for this by adding a layer mask by press on this icon then go and choose soft brush like this now click just to remove the hard edges to make it more realistic top water click and move softly here this is exactly what we want now we have to add more realistic for the lighting above here in the top of the water make sure that the top layer is selected and go to filter render lighting effects here we are change the spotlight to omni like this make it a little bit smaller move it to the middle to add more realistic like uh, the sunlight like this let's uh, change some setting here to make it more realistic like this make it clearer like this it's not bad okay make this a little bit like this wonderful be sure that it's in the middle now click on ok to apply your effects here we are very beautiful like the sun imagine the sun over the water what can do is to add the rays of light that are showing through the water i'll show you the easiest way to do this first of all let's agree let's create a new layer by pressing this new icon like this now select the rectangular tool selection select the top half of the image it's not necessary to go all down just select the top half of the image like this sure that the color is set to the white to black then go to filter render clouds now go to image adjustment threshold choose this option to add a little bit more detail for our render clouds like this try to move it if you get something near for this result that's okay click on okay here we are now make sure that you deselect the selection by press on selection deselect or control D the shortcut command D on the Mac then go to filter blur radial blur make it the blur method on zoom and the quality to the best the amount be sure that it's 100% rise this to up like this then click on OK 
here we are repeat the same filter by press the shortcut from the keyboard control f command f on the mac or go to filter and choose radial blur again here we are repeat it for the third time also this is exactly what we want to do now to make this rise of light building with the background come over here on the building move on the building option and choose color dodge like this that's a little bit hard so what we gonna do to go to fill and decrease until it be suitable 50% it's okay like this now click on free transform edit free transform or control T the shortcut and move it to the center of the light like this and pull down or make it like this stretch out okay press on enter to apply now I'll teach you how to control the rays of light much more better than before apply the, the apply a mask by press this icon then choose the brush click and drag softly click and drag you can resize your press by pressing by pressing the pracky key from the keyboard to make soft edges just more realistic move it here like this brush again be sure that you select the layer mask You can decrease the opacity of your brush like this. Here we are. Now low down the fill like this to make it more realistic. Raise. like this like this now again try to paint here very beautiful and realistic underwater skin now the next step will be to make the ground for this we have to do to create the palm of the sea all we have to do is to click here duplicate the layer by click and drag like this now press on ctrl t from the keyboard right click here flip vertical like this now click and drag here we are make a little bit very beautiful press on inner to confirm that's it it's a little bit gray to fix this go to image adjustments 
let's control let's uh, try to control the brightness with the contrast like this Very good. Click on OK. Try to make this a little bit decreased. Capacity. Here we have it. And now this is the final result for our tutorial today. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.